Established in 2008, the Wolf Pack emerged out of the dreams of Matt Sampson. The team has its roots in Squamish and now plays in North Vancouver. I think it was mostly through Matt and uh, his uh, buddy uh, Phil Kinnamon at the time. Uh, so uh, wanted to get into uh, junior hockey. So we approached the PJHL, and this is in the dark ages, way back when. And we put our, our, our franchise was in Squamish at that time. And Squamish was a good place for us. We had a lot of complaints about travel because it was before they had in the new highway and a lot of the teams were reticent about it. But we had good support, good fan support there. We didn't really know what we were doing. But uh, as we've gone along, we've got a little smarter. Um, and eventually we were able to uh, work with North Van Minor and uh, get ice here so we could be a legacy team for their Minor Hockey Association. And every time I, I watch the kids play today and every time I watch that, it takes me back to when I coach my little guys. And uh, someday, hopefully, we'll see some of those guys playing for the Wolfpack or, and beyond. The Wolfpack has established a winning culture on and off the ice in its 15-year history. Many players have had the chance to suit up for the Wolfpack over the years. I guess the Quan brothers really stick out. We, uh, I can't take any credit for that one either. Matt discovered them playing midget hockey, uh, and we got them on the team, and uh, they led us to our, the first year we made the playoffs. They were the direct result we did that. We had moved from, from uh, Squamish, and we came in here, and they were the ones who got us in the playoffs. Uh, Mitch Krasandi was a great player for us, a real goal scorer. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Barker, who from last year, or from the 40-win the season, there were so many great players in there, I couldn't really single out one. There's some that um, are probably in their 30s now that makes me feel old when I see them. Most of the guys I see that used to play for us, um, they will still say, hi, Mr. Sampson, or hi, Dean, or whatever, rather than cross the street and go the other way. So I, I, I think we're, we're helping to make good, good citizens out of them, at least. A number of players who were once on the Wolfpack have also gone on to play at the next level of hockey, something that the Wolfpack are proud of. I look at Mitch Ledger, uh, barely made our team. So sorry, Mitch, at the beginning, I was pushing for you. I played with his uncle and his dad. Um, we wound up our captain, wound up captain at Simon Fraser. That's, that's something I'm proud of. Troy Ring started with us as a 16-year-old defenseman, wound up captain in trail. So, uh, Justin Lee, same thing, playing for Simon Fraser. Uh, Jacob Lacasse, who played briefly for us, but uh, became a real big heart of the team in some ways when he came out and was one of my favorites. Later this month, the team will host an alumni night. Hundreds of players have played with the pack, making it difficult to remember them all. Um, I don't know, I, th I think we should make them wear name tags because I was looking at all the names that are going to be on our plaque there and I, I could, was trying to put faces to all of them and I'm not sure I could anymore. That, that might be because I'm getting older. <laughs> or that there's just been, I was astounding the number of players that have played for us and coaches, etc. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing the guys. I hope that, I hope they come out. During the 2019-20 season, the Wolfpack won 40 of a possible 44 games, a feat that no other team in junior hockey history has accomplished. You'll never get a team like that again, I don't think. They were, they were a tight bunch of great players and, uh, you know, it, we, we got a lot of, uh, publicity from that and it was a shame that season ended not on the ice but because of COVID ended uh, in the boardroom so to speak. Only a few games remain until the playoffs begin in the Pacific Junior Hockey League and Dean Samson is hopeful that his team will be able to succeed. I think we have a talented team but we need to work on our structure a little more if we're going to go far in the playoffs and I think uh, if we get to the playoffs we get our structure in place uh, we've got a shot.